Hey guys, Clyde here live at Leechburg Lights. Um, I wanted to do this video for you guys. It's uh, It's been a long three and a half weeks since uh, posting anything. And uh, I, suffice to say that there's uh, a lot of things going on here in, uh, in my life at the moment. And I'm working through them as best as I can. But uh, there was some questions on in the groups, and then I really haven't been able to follow as much as I want to. That uh, 12 volt pixels don't run on the uh, Raspberry Pi, let alone the uh, brand new Raspberry Pi hat. Now, what I've got here, these are standard Technicolor Pixel version two that are running off of the uh, 12 volt power supply, the 12 volt line. This is the yellow 12 volt line coming from the computer power supply here. And I've got the Raspberry Pi hat, uh, the Pixel Pi hat, sitting on top of the Raspberry Pi. You can see it here. Um, you'll also notice that I have this little jumper here. It's disconnected. Now, we're, we're working on the development phase of putting this together as, a, uh, as an item. And is it, it's looking like we may just not use this in the final run. This may not be included. It could be included. Uh, it could be easily soldered on by the individual if they so chose to uh, add that in, but um, you're looking at a very, very inexpensive price. This is for five volt running into the Pixel Pi hat and powering the board. Right now I've got it disconnected, so I have 12 volt here, and then I'm running five volt right into here via the power supply for the um, for the Raspberry Pi itself. So uh, I wanted you to see here we've got the 12 volt Technicolor Pixels running. They're running perfectly. And uh, I do have a sequence that I, uh, the same sequence I've been using, but I had to change the model. So it's not as pretty, but it definitely shows that we are running 12 volt pixels with the Pixel Pi hat. Um, that there's this option here to run 5 volt from the header here into the Pi, so you don't need this separate uh, power supply. So as you can see, we have a, a solid test. Everything's working just fine. I have no uh, no issues with running just a standard sequence using this. Um, I will show you. Let's go over here. And Andy showed a little bit of this. Um, it's kind of hard to see the screen. Maybe it is. Uh, I can't use the uh, software on this video for whatever reason. But this is the setup that I just used. I changed one of my outputs here it used to say uh, 25 right there or 27 just like the second output does the first one now says 50 so that that runs my string of 50 and they all output to that one but uh, once again I could uh, hook up number of pixels and this uh, carries over to the second output which is this one here now sadly I don't I, I, I just don't have the opportunity to hook up 28 uh, 2801s to this board um, I just, there's just too much going on, but I had a set of these sitting real nearby so that I could run 12 volt pixels without a problem, uh, in, uh, with the Pi hat. So, uh, guys, I, I know there's, like I said, we're still in development. We are working on a price now and we're very close. We're definitely going to hit under $15 per Pi hat and assembled. They won't come as a kit. I don't believe it's necessary to put this together as a kit form, um, but that's one of the options we're working on is this additional uh, this additional 5 volt jumper so you can run 5 volt here if you're running 5 volt pixels you just power your pick uh, your your uh, your individual uh, Pi using the Pi hat with this is in there as a 5 volt line but um, it as I have it standing now I have 5 volt coming here powering the Pi and I have 10, uh, 12 volt pixels the jumper is disconnected so we we're, we're still deciding um, guys I hope you I hope you enjoyed the video um, thanks thanks for uh, all your thoughts and prayers uh, through what's going on and uh, I hope to have more videos uh, as soon as I can take care thank you